am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them, and I will be their Lord forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The Holy Sacrifice of the Mass today is being offered for blessings for Russell Kiel. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that, by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, says Kohelet. Vanity of vanities. All things are vanity. What profit has man from all the labor which he toils at under the sun? One generation passes and another comes, but the world forever stays. The sun rises and the sun goes down. Then it presses on to the place where it rises. Blowing now toward the south, then toward the north, the wind turns again and again, <clears throat> resuming its rounds. All rivers go to the sea, yet never does the sea become full. To the place where they go, the rivers keep on going. All speech is labor. There is nothing one can say. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor is the ear satisfied with hearing. What has been that will be. What has been done, that will be done. Nothing is new under the sun. Even the thing of which we say, see, this is new, has already existed in the ages that preceded us. There is no remembrance of the men of old, nor of those who come will there be any remembrance among those who come after them. The word of the Lord. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O oh children of men, for a thousand years in your sight as are, yet, are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness in all our days. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. to the Father except through me.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening, and he was greatly perplexed, because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. But Herod said, John I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Vanity of vanities, says Kohelet. Vanity of vanities, all things are vanity. I don't know why exactly, but this book, this opening line from the book of Ecclesiastes, are always so striking to me. I think it's similar to even why I strangely, while I was studying philosophy, enjoyed reading Nietzsche. Something about the nihilism which shows that without God, what's the point? I don't know about you, but this sentiment that Koheleth is expounding upon today is something that I feel rather strongly myself. Vanity of vanities. What's the point of my study? What is the point of my family? What is the point of my good things? He says. If there is no one above, if there is no resurrection, what are we doing here? Maybe you who come each day might have a bit of that sentiment yourselves. That your lives without faith are just kind of there. One generation passes, another comes, but the world stays forever, he says. The sun rises, the sun goes down. Everything just moves. Things die and things are born. But if there is no Christ, what are we doing? I think this is also what brought Herod to his search today. Herod, who had everything, right? He was the king, he, he had money, he had parties, he had everything that he could have wanted on earth, and yet he loved to hear John the Baptist preach. John, who was constantly denouncing him, for some reason Herod, who had all things, also counted it vanity. And so he kept trying to see the Christ. We know that ultimately when Herod did see Christ, he kind of dismissed him. He didn't count him for the valor that he was, but I think we hear in his heart, a heart that is restless until it rests in our King. That's why, brothers and sisters, you might feel from time to time that all these things are bad. This is why we're reminded today that, like Herod, we must always seek to see him, try to see he which gives meaning to all of our lives. And yet, even if we have a hard time realizing that these things on earth are vanity. Maybe that is to, or to be a reminder. A day in which our world, everything on earth, is what's most important, in which politics is raised over even the heavenly kingdom. Let us be remembered that whatever our sufferings of this time, that He is what is most important. He is what gives value to each of our days. Otherwise, all things are vanity. Mindful of the good gifts which our Father has given to us, let us gather our prayers and praises into one as we bring our needs before him. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for our Bishop Peter, and all the bishops and priests who with them seek Christ and seek to share him with the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all government leaders and especially for our own nation, that we would come to recognize the futility of our lives without our Creator, and seek His truth and justice in everything we do. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Let us pray especially for all of those who are trapped in the materialism of this world, that their hearts would be open to the truth in which Christ alone gives value to all things. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who are sick and suffering, that they too, even in their moments of despair, would turn to the Creator who has given meaning even to their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who have died, and for any who may die today, that by the light of Christ they might rest in eternity with Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions which you bring to the holy sacrifice of the Mass, and now offer in the silence of your heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, you truly are the giver of every good thing, and so we come before you with humility and love as we entrust to you our prayers and petitions through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. The will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, the fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, the will become our spiritual food. Blessed Blessed be God of God. Great brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word for whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will. And gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, about the all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew cup, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery we proclaim the death of the Lord, and his resurrection, resurrection, and to come back again. again. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, for God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine nature, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 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 The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your, your spirit. Let us offer you a sign of peace. Mm -hmm.
Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but I now say the word, and my soul shall not be healed. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, even if I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself fully to you, never permitting to be separated by you. You have laid down your precepts to be carefully kept. May my way to be firm in keeping with your strength.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those who renew with this sacrament, so that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Amen. The Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael the Archangel. May God be with you and 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 with you and